Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while since my last upload. Well, not really. Just wanted to talk to you guys instead of just diving straight in like we normally do. I don't think I said it in any of my previous videos, but thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. It means a lot. And I hope to keep growing with my style of content. It seemed like you guys recently really loved that last <laughs> video I did with the voice acting on Lily the Tempest and whatnot. I'm actually planning to do a video similar to that and I hope to get it uploaded sometime this week because I'm on my spring break. So look forward to that. But you know, let's have a little vibe check right now. How are you guys doing? I've been doing okay, I guess, you know, job, college, per usual, life's been crazy for me. But you know, I've been finding a consistent upload schedule, kind of, finally, and I'm very happy about that. I even had time to go visit Kelly Marie once again have tea and cookies. Marie was creepy as usual, but you know, it's okay. We sat and talked about the usual stuff, you know, her fucking factor pee and shit. But then he asked me a weird question, and it was like, what do some people say that make you mad in Splatoon? And I'm just like, huh, I never really thought about that. I mean, I'm a competitive player and you know, people complain about the meta, but I understand because the meta is kind of bad. So I really don't have any. Oh, 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 <sighs> you guys know what time it is. So today, I decided to harness the real nigga energy and talk about this. This is a heavy topic for the competitive and casual community, but do I give a damn? No, I don't. So let's talk about this. I'll just go ahead and say it. If you think Squid Bang is a problem, you're a bitch made. It seriously baffles me that a taunt in a video game could be taken so seriously to the point that people think people are coming for their lives when they get bagged. Like, relax. They say they're complaining about it over and over and over again. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yes, I do acknowledge the fact that Splatoon carries a young audience. So, of course, there'll be people complaining about getting taunting. But there are even some grown ass adults that complain about this shit. Like, bitch, how old are you? I know people are nice about this, but not me. I'm gonna show you how it is. Grow some balls, get some thick skin, or just don't play Splatoon. And if you think Squid Bag is going anywhere in Splatoon 3, you couldn't be more wrong. So get your minds right. Now, if you're dumb at Squid Bag and while you're losing, you're just stupid. Uh, why? You're losing. You probably heard it 1,000 times already, but here we go again. Squid Bagging is a taunt that's meant to piss you off. And if you get pissed off, that's your problem, not their problem. There are no reasons why we shouldn't do it on lame as hell. Squid Bag is a sports bit like, it's rude, you should be nice, fuck that! Hold this bag! I can literally play with millions of people online at any time. Why should I give a damn how my opponents feel? I don't care. Oh wait, can't forget about this one, this is a classic. <clears throat> they were having a bad day, what if they're just trying to enjoy the game? Sorry, I'm looking forward, that's my problem. Your first mistake was turning on this fucking game. If you're having a bad day and you turn on a online multiplayer shooter, you're stupid. You're just asking to get pissed off. So if they get bagged and then they make themselves so feel even worse, that's their fault. Turn off the shitty game, go sleep, take a nap, eat, drink some water. Don't turn on this game if you're pissed off. Squid bag is not a problem. Not as much as y'all make it out to be. Maud, cry, I don't know, throw a temper tantrum, do what you with the information. I don't care. Now that that's over, let's segue to what I really want to talk about. And that, of course, is spawn camping. Now, I'm going to step off the gas a little bit and agree. Skinny spawn camp is not fun. It's not enjoyable whatsoever. I'm also going to agree and say spawn camping is not a real strategy, but not the reason you think. Because who the fuck actually sits there and strategize to spawn camp? Nobody sits there and be like, all right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna magically somehow get four kids at the beginning of the game, push up in their spawn, and not let them out. No one strategizes that shit. No one sits there and does that. No one does. If you get spawn camp, it just happens. A lot of different YouTubers talked about it. Yes, there are a lot of reasons why spawn camping happens, including maps, specials, you know, etc. But more importantly, it's a skill issue. It ain't their fault the game put them in a lobby with weak players that aren't up to their skill level. It's the matchmaking system's fault. So what are we going to do? We're not going to sit there and lay down and let you win. We're going to beat your ass to a pulp. Fuck that. Just like it's not your fault you got put in a lobby with people way stronger than you. It's the same way both ways around. If spawn camp gets me a guaranteed W by all means, I'm going to do that shit. I'm just trying to take a I'm trying to win. But nah, most of y'all are bitch me. Spawn camping is cheating. It's unfair. You should always make sure the enemy team has a way back into mid and a way to your objective when you're spawn camping. 
Do you fucking hear yourself? So I'm supposed to let your ass go back into mid, get free paint and specials to make your chances of winning even greater because it's fair and the right thing to do? What the fuck is this? Participation awards? Fuck that shit. Ah oh shit, my bad bro. I've been spawn camping you the whole game, not letting you do anything. I'm so sorry. And you know what? To be fair, I'm going to let you have mid control. At least you pay for your special. Go for it. Yeah, that's right. Have your special. Good job. See, look, now mid is all yours, bro. You have all of that. And you know what? You can have the objective too. Matter of fact, you can have the game. You can go win. Yes, sir. Go, bro, go. Fuck that shit! Stay in your damn spawn! Dead ass, just knock all you pussy ass niggas back to the shadow realm. Not like we don't do that already. And y'all still not saving Splatoon 3. Best to believe we're gonna find out where the spawn can be there too. There's no escape. In conclusion for all of this, squid bagging is a personal problem. Spawn camping is a game problem. All are going to be in effect in the third game, most likely. Sorry to say, but if getting spawn camped and not liking being squid bagged is your reason for not playing Splatoon, that's a personal problem. You gotta find a way around that shit, honestly. Cause if that's seriously your for your reason for not wanting to play the game, then you don't love this game as much as you say you do. Sorry, calling y'all out, but that's the truth. Even at the skill level I'm at now, I still get squid back and spawn camped. It's a part of the game. Shit happens. The most important thing is to not let it get to you. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be uploading another video sometime this week soon. It's about getting ready for Splatoon 3, and I hope you guys will watch that as well. Have a nice day. You're still a squid bacon cheater. Sorry, ass nigga. Go get good.